Glory to God in the highest, glory to God in the highest, peace on earth and good hope to all forever. Amen. Strengthen our Lord and our God our weakness by your mercy that we may celebrate the holy mysteries which have been given for the renewal and redemption of our weak nature through the mercy of your beloved Son, O Lord of all forever. Amen. Amen. Lord, who may abide in your dwelling and who may live on your holy mountain, with pure thoughts, O Lord, let me stand before your altar. He who walks without blame and does what is right, who speaks the truth from his heart and does not slander with his tongue. He who does no evil to his friend nor accepts a bribe against his neighbor. He who despises in his sight the wrathful and honors those who fear the Lord. He who swears to his friend and does not lie and does not lend his money with interest. He who does not take a bribe against the innocent. Whoever does these things is just and shall never be shaken. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, forever and ever. Amen and amen. With pure thoughts, O Lord, let me stand before your altar. Let us pray. Peace be with us. While the pleasant fragrance of your tender love embraces us, our Lord and our God, our souls are enlightened by the knowledge of your truth. May we be made worthy to welcome the revelation of your beloved Son from heaven. There we will praise you unceasingly and glorify you in your crown church, which is filled with all graces and blessings. For you are the Lord and creator of all forever. Amen. Lord, you 
you are truly the giver of life to our bodies, the good Savior of our souls, and the faithful guardian of our lives. It is right to thank, praise, and glorify you at all times, O Lord of all forever. Amen. and his holy ones, we implore you, Lord, turn to us, forgive us, and have mercy on us as always, O Lord of all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. May Christ enlighten you with his teaching. Moses said to the Israelites, Take your heed, lest you forget the Lord your God by not keeping his commandments and his ordinances and his statutes, which I command you this day. Lest, when you have eaten and are full, and have built excellent houses and live in them, and when your heeds and flocks multiply, and your silver and gold is multiplied, and all that you have is multiplied, then your heart be lifted up, and you forget the Lord your God, who brought you, the, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage who led you through the great and terrible wilderness with its fiery serpents and scorpions and thirsty ground where there was no water, who brought you water out of the flinty rock, who fed you in the wilderness with manna, which your father did not know, that he might humble you and test you to do good in the end. Beware, lest you say in your heart, My power and the might of my hand have gotten me this wealth. When you shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you the power to get this wealth, that he may confirm his covenant which he swore to your father as at this day. And if you forget the Lord your God and go after other gods and serve them and worship them, I solemnly warn you this day that you shall perish. Like the nations that the Lord make to perish before you, so shall you perish, because you would not obey the voice of the Lord your God. Enlighten our thoughts, our Lord and our God, that we may be attentive to understand and savor the sweetness of your life-giving and divine commands. Grant that through your grace and mercy we might benefit from them the gifts of love, hope, and salvation for the body and soul, and always sing or, or perpetual praise to you at all times, O Lord of all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit forever. Amen. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Philippians. May Christ enlighten you with his teaching. Only let your manner of life be worthy of the gospel of Christ, so that whether I come and see you or am absent, I may hear of you that you stand firm in one spirit, with one mind striving side by side for the faith of the gospel, and not frightened in anything by your opponents. This is a clear omen to them of their destruction, but of your salvation and that from God. For it has been granted to you that for the sake of Christ, you should not only believe in him, but also suffer for his sake, 
engaged in the same conflict which you saw and now hear to be mine. So if there is any encouragement in Christ, any incentive of love, any participation in the Spirit, any affection or sympathy, complete by my joy, by being of the same mind, having the same love, being in full accord and of one mind. Do nothing from selfishness or conceit, but in humility account others before yourselves and better than yourselves. Let each of you look not only in your own interests, but also to the interests of others. Have this mind among yourselves, which was in Christ Jesus, whom though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped but emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men. And being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient unto, unto oath, even death on a cross. Therefore, God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name, that at every name of Jesus every knee shall bow, in heaven, on earth, and under earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Let us stand in preparation to hear the Holy Gospel. Seeing the crowds, he went up on the mountain, and when Jesus sat down, his disciples came to him, and he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted, for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when men revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For so men persecuted the prophets who were before you. You are the salt of the earth, but if salt has lost its taste, how shall its saltness be restored? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trodden underfoot by men. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hid, nor do men light a lamp and put it under a bushel, but on a stand, and it gives light to all in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. <laughs> Father and of the Father and of 
the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love and your joy in this Mass. Help us, Holy Spirit, to be completely devoted to the Lord this week and in this Mass and open our minds and our hearts to receive all that you desire us to receive, especially your gifts of humility, trust, and faithfulness. We ask this through our Blessed Mother that she protect us and our families from all evil. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. Good morning. Good morning. Today, St. Paul says something very beautiful and something that really we all need to hear. He says that we should not only believe in God, but we should also suffer for his sake. We shouldn't just believe in God, but suffer for His sake. That means that it's not good enough just to have a Mary statue or some religious pictures. Many of us probably have a cross, right, that we receive from communion and we probably wear it all the time. Well, it's not good enough just to wear a necklace. You're not called just to wear this cross. You're called to be crucified to it. You're called to suffer for him. And so what is suffering? There's two responses when suffering, when struggle, when crosses come our way in our life. There are two ways that we can respond to God. We can either rebel against God, we can be angry with him, or we can surrender ourselves to him and trust him. So two two things that we can do in the midst of our suffering Rebel against God or surrender to Him. Archbishop Fulton Sheen, he gives a very beautiful image of suffering. And he talks about the two thieves that were crucified with Jesus. And I think it's a very good image for us of how we endure and how we carry our suffering. The two thieves that were on the cross, Jesus was crucified in between them. One of the thieves is mocking Jesus. He tells him, get us down from here. Don't you have power? Aren't you the Messiah? Aren't you the Savior? Get us down. He mocks Jesus. But then the other thief, what does he tell Jesus? He says, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And he actually tells the other thief to be quiet. He says, we've received what we deserve. Because that thief who asked Jesus to remember him in his kingdom, he knew that the cross was for him. So there's two things we can do when suffering comes our way. We can be like that first thief. And we can mock God. We can be angry with him. We can want to be distant from him. We can tell him, Lord, take this away. I don't want this. I don't want this suffering. I don't want this cross. Take it from me. But there's a really amazing scene in the Passion of Christ. This isn't, it's not in the Bible, but I think that we can always imagine what would have happened, right? So if you've watched the Passion, after Jesus has died on the cross, the thief that was mocking Jesus A crow comes and he eats the eyes of the thief that was mocking the Lord. Wow. So if you want to keep your eyes, carry your cross, okay? (laughs) But wow, what an image. That when we don't want to suffer, when we don't want to struggle for the Lord, and when we want God just to take everything away, I just want life to be easy. I want life to be good. Well, you want to know what the good life is? That's the good life. Life is not meant to be easy. Life is not meant to be a life without suffering, a life without struggles, because that's not life. You want that life? Go be a Protestant. But to be a Catholic, to be a real Christian, to be someone who follows Jesus, we have to suffer. What does Jesus say when he's talking about the way to heaven? He says the path to heaven is very narrow, it's difficult, and not many people make it. And then he goes on to say that the path to hell 
is very wide and easy, and many people go there. If we want to go to heaven, if we want to be with God for the rest of our lives, we have to suffer. If our Creator, if our Master and our Savior was crucified to the cross, then who are we any better to not be crucified? Who are we to not suffer? Jesus didn't say, pick up your Netflix, your Snapchat, your Instagram, your pillow, your blanket, your couch, and come follow me. He says, deny yourself, pick up your cross, and follow me. That's what he says. And so many of you and many of us have those crosses, have those sufferings. And I want to tell you a couple of things. Because many people in this church are suffering, are crucified to the cross. A couple of things that you need to know. One, you're not alone. You are not alone. And don't believe the lie that God is not with you that God has abandoned you, that God is punishing you. That's from the satana, man. Don't listen to that. That's a lie from the devil himself. God is always with us. And he's with us more in our suffering and in our struggles when things are great and awesome. God is with us when we're crucified to the cross. He's with us in our suffering. He's with us in our struggles. Two, you cannot suffer well unless you're doing it with God. Don't try to carry your cross alone. The only way that your suffering will bear fruit, and St. John Paul II always said, don't waste your suffering. There's so many ways that we suffer and they make us holy through our suffering. There's many ways that we suffer in our lives. Maybe it's in your marriage. Maybe it's your spouse. Maybe it's your own addictions to sin, your sexuality. Maybe it's an addiction to drugs and alcohol. Maybe it's a financial struggle. Maybe it's being home right now with your kids, trying to teach them. This is what God is calling us to. Don't waste your suffering. Ya Allah, the parking lot was a hot mess for like two months. We finally opened it. That was a way of suffering, of patience, of God calling us to offer up our crosses to Him, to carry them with Him. Today in our community, we remember Alex and Gabby Mansour. Today is the Stride for Seminarians event. It's a little different this year because of Corona. But if there's one family, or if there's a person who's taught me what suffering is and how to suffer, it's the Mansoor family. If you don't know their story, many of us did, really it rocked our community seven years ago, that three children were just tubing on a lake and a boat hit them head on. A boat hit them head on. Two of the children, Alex and Gabby, died. They were under 11 years old. And the third one, Adriana, fought for her life for months. The mother, Anne, had to watch all of this take place in front of her as she was standing on the beach, as she was standing at their house. Could you imagine watching your kids literally die in front of you? Could you imagine that? What type of suffering is that? But you look at them, especially John and Anne Mansour, and I've been blessed to know them, and I've heard their testimony many times, and they talk about this. They talk about how they've suffered, how they continue to suffer. It's not easy. But what do they say? I remember when they gave their testimony once, they have a beautiful group for those who have lost loved ones, grieving with faith and hope. And at this group, they gave their testimony, and they're talking about how they lost their children, how they suffered, how they've carried their cross. And they asked us the question, they said, how did we get through this? How are we standing here today? And they said, it's one word, God. 
We cannot suffer unless we suffer with God and for God. The minute we try to suffer without him, that's when we lose our faith. That's when we lose our love for him. And so remember, God has called all of us to suffer, and we have our crosses. Don't let them go to waste. Don't let your sufferings cause you to rebel against God. Surrender to him. Surrender your sufferings to him. Surrender your crosses to him. Because that's how we will get to him. Amen. Let us stand well with joy and gladness, and let us implore and say, Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. We pray for our Pope and all bishops and priests that serve with him, that they may be filled with constant peace and obedience to God's will for their lives. We implore you. Lord, have mercy on us. For the lawmakers in our country, that they design laws that protect all people, from conception to natural death, we implore you. Lord, have mercy on us. We pray for all Christians throughout the world that are being imprisoned or persecuted for their faith in Jesus, just as St. Paul was. May they be filled with hope and strength as they stand up for the truth. We implore you. Lord, have mercy on us. For a detachment from the desire of earthly riches in all of our hearts. We especially pray for those people to put their total trust in Jesus, rather than in money or social status. We implore you. Lord, have mercy on us. We pray to the Lord for freedom in the minds and souls of all people who are struggling with an addiction. We ask the angels and saints to help those struggling to transform their lives. We implore you. Lord, have mercy on us. We pray for the souls of all people who have died especially for those who have been left forgotten with no one to pray for them. We implore you. Lord, have mercy on us. Together, let us entrust our souls to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit forever. To you, O Lord, Almighty God, who beseech and implore, fulfill your grace with us and pour forth your gifts through us. May your divine mercies and love be for the remission of debts of your people and the forgiveness of sins of all your faithful, whom you have chosen for yourself in your grace and mercies, O Lord of all. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit forever. Amen. <laughs> كم قد مخبز عدالة وانقاد شلا يا ماريا شقل خبجا وفرقانا فغرز يوم حيانا ودم ميقرم حسيانا جود ميد لخم وخمرة تقرون دم خلصانا May Christ who has sacrificed for our salvation and ordered us to make a memorial of his death, burial, and resurrection accept this sacrifice from our hands by his grace and mercy forever. Amen. By your command, our Lord and our God. By your command, our Lord and our God. By your command, our Lord and our God. These glorious, holy, life-giving, and divine mysteries are set in place upon the absolving altar until the second coming of our Lord from heaven. To him be glory at all times and forever. Amen. May this sacrifice be accepted and sanctified mm -hmm. by the word of God and the Holy Spirit, that it may be for our help and salvation and life everlasting in the kingdom of heaven through the grace of Christ. شو حلاوة ولورا والروح تقذشة على المذبح قذشة نوي دخرانا دوث التمريام إم دلها من عالم عالم العالم من وعي كل عما آمن ومن 
دخر مرقي ورقيس على المذبح قذشة أم كان يدن ساح وسهد يتكلل اشلي وانصورا كلون عني بيك وقيم تشوح داك شو حقي منو We believe in one God, God the Father Almighty Creator of all that is seen and unseen and in one Lord Jesus Christ the only Son of God the firstborn of all creation eternally begotten of the Father, but was not made, true God from true God, one in being with his Father. Through him all things were ordered and made, for us and for our salvation. He is sent down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he took flesh and became man. He was conceived and was born from the Virgin Mary. He suffered and was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He died and was buried, and rose on the third day, in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and sat at the right hand of his Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. We believe in one Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, as a life-giving Spirit. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic Church, we confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of our bodies, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Peace be with us. Pray in the memory of our fathers, patriarchs, bishops, priests, deacons, the youth, and the consecrated, and all those who have departed from this world in true faith. Let us also pray for our fathers and mothers, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters, and for all the rulers who love Christ. And also, let us remember all the prophets and apostles, and all the martyrs and confessors of this in all places. May God who crowned them give us with them on the day of the resurrection from the dead good hope and a share in the inheritance of life in the kingdom of heaven. Barakman. With perfect charity and true faith, we celebrate your gift for us, and we raise to you glory, honor, thanksgiving, and praise now at all times and forever. Amen. Peace be with you. With you and your spirit. of the Holy Spirit be with us now at all times and forever. Amen. Lift up your thoughts to you, God of Abraham, Isaac and Israel, the King of glory. This sacrifice is offered to God, the Lord of all. from every mouth, thanksgiving from every tongue, and adoration and exaltation from all creation. Is the adored name of the glorious Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, who created the world and its inhabitants in His grace and mercy, redeemed humanity through His love, and provided a wonderful grace towards mortals. To Your Majesty, O Lord, countless heavenly beings and myriads of holy angels kneel and adore, ministers of fire and spirit glorify Your name. 
With the holy cherubim and the spiritual seraphim, they offer praise to your Lordship as they praise and glorify without ceasing and proclaim one to the other, saying, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord Almighty God. Heaven and earth are full of His glory. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna to the Son of David. Blessed is he who came and will come in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. On the night he was betrayed, he took bread with his sacred hands, raised his eyes to you, God, his almighty Father, and gave you thanks and blessed. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you for the forgiveness of sins. Amen. من باثر عش من صاو بذا قد شاثك سدخيا وودي لا خوارخ ويا وثلمي ذا كذا مر صاو اشتو مني كل خون انا ودم Death, ya, they could that the Dilalam Rose, the Heyman with a Dahla Pekon, Wahlap Segi, Mithishit Shukana, Dahtoe. Whenever you do this, do it in memory of me. As you have commanded us, we, your humble, weak, and feeble servants, have gathered here to celebrate your great mercy towards us that cannot be repaid. For you have assumed our humanity so that we might live in your divinity, exalted our lowliness, raised our fall, revived our mortality, forgiven our debts, justified our sinfulness, enlightened our minds, and overcome our weak nature through the overflowing grace of your mercy. And for your help and graces toward us, we offer you glory, honor, thanksgiving, and praise, now at all times and forever. Pray silently, peace be with us. Lord God Almighty, accept this sacrifice which we offer you for all your blessings bestowed on Our Lady, the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, to Saint Joseph, the terror of demons, to all the just and pious fathers who have been pleasing to you, to all the prophets and apostles, martyrs and confessors. We offer it also for the Holy Catholic Church, for our Holy Fathers, Mar Francis, the Supreme Pontiff, the Pope of Rome, Mar Luis, the Patriarch, Mar Francis, the Bishop of our Diocese, Mar Ibrahim, for all bishops, priests, deacons, and religious, for an increase of vocations to the priesthood religious life, and for holy and happy marriages. Yes, O Lord God Almighty, accept this sacrifice for all those who are in sorrow and distress, the needy and weary, the sick and afflicted, for all the deceased, for Alex and Gabby Mansour, for those who have departed from our midst, for this people who gaze and await for your mercy. Yes, our Lord and our God, may this sacrifice be accepted for all those who stand before your holy altar. Hear their prayers, pardon their sins, and forgive their iniquities. Also for this country and its inhabitants, this city and those who dwell therein, surrounded, O Lord, with a strong wall and are moved far from it by your grace, all evil. 
and we offer our intentions at the altar of the Lord now. And we also, Lord, and we also, Lord, and we also, O Lord, your humble, weak, and wretched servants who are gathered in your name and stand before you at this moment. We have received through tradition the example of your Son while rejoicing, glorifying, and exalting. We commemorate and perform this great, revered, holy, life-giving, and divine mystery of the passion, death, burial, and resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. In silence and in reverence, Stand and pray that peace be with us. May your Holy Spirit come, O Lord, and rest upon this sacrifice to bless and sanctify it to become for us the pardon of debts, the forgiveness of sins, the hope and the resurrection of the dead, and the new life in the kingdom of heaven with all who have pleased you. For this great and marvelous providence for us, we praise and glorify you without ceasing in your church, redeemed by the precious blood of your Christ, with praise in our lips and radiant faces. We raise glory, honor, thanksgiving, and praise to your living, holy, and life-giving name, now at all times and forever. O Christ, the peace of those in heaven and a great hope of those on earth, fill the world with your peace and harmony. O Lord, especially your holy Catholic Church, bring harmony between church and state, put an end to wars on earth, and disperse the nations that desire war so that we may live a peaceful and calm life in purity and fear of God. Cleanse our Lord and our God, the stench and filth of our iniquity, with the sweet aroma of your pleasant love. Wash us of every stain of sin, O Good Shepherd, who searched for us, found us lost, and delights in our return. Forgive our debts and sins, those that we know, as well as those that we are unaware. In your grace and mercy. Amen. Barakhmar. 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 The grace of your mercy, our Lord and our God, draws us near to these glorious, holy, life giving, and divine mysteries. Although we are unworthy. We approach your holy mysteries, O Lord, with true faith. In your mercy we break, and in your compassion we sign the life-giving body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit forever. Amen. The precious blood is signed with the life-giving body of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit forever. Amen. The sacred body is signed with the forgiving blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit forever. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now at all times and forever. Let us approach with fear and reverence the mystery of the precious body and blood of our Savior. With a pure heart and true faith, let us recall his passion and meditate on his resurrection. For our sake, the only begotten of God took from humanity a mortal body 
with a rational, spiritual, and immortal soul. By his life-giving laws and his holy commandments, he led us from sin to the knowledge of the truth. After his plan of salvation for us, the firstborn of our humanity was tested on the cross. He rose from the dead and ascended into heaven. He gave us his holy mysteries, by which we recall all his graces for us. Therefore, with overflowing love and a humble will, let us receive the gift of eternal life. Let us participate in the mysteries of the Church through pure prayer and deep contrition. With hope in our repentance, as we convert from our iniquities, weep over our sins, and ask mercy and pardon from God, the Lord of all. We forgive our neighbors their offenses. Lord, forgive our sins and offenses. Let us purify our conscience from divisions and disputes. Lord, forgive our sins and offenses. Let us purify our souls from hatred and hostility. Lord, forgive our sins and offenses. Let us receive this communion and be sanctified by the Holy Spirit. Lord, forgive our sins and offenses. United in one mind and in harmony, let us receive the fullness of this sacrament. Lord, forgive our sins and offenses. Let these mysteries, Lord, be for the resurrection of our bodies and the salvation of our souls. And everlasting life. Let us pray. Peace be with us. Forgive, O Lord, in your mercy the sins and offenses of your servants and sanctify our lips by your grace. لا مو مقيم قام قلب الصفيا وبثواث الجليا وبستا حوثا من خب رحمة ديوخ بشلة والططالن كل بخذا دق رخرخ وهذا خ أمرخ باب ديل بشمية بايش مقطش شمخ أثيا من كوثخ ها وعش بونخ دخ ديل بشمية هذا خ أمبرة هل النخماس طعن بديو شو طعن جنان وخياث دخدم عقلي شوق لن تعانى تمتع ليلة أنهن لن نبعت الجراغة إلا مخالصا نميشة سبب ديل وخيلة ملكوثة حيلة وتشفحة العالم علمين آمين Yes, O Lord God Almighty, you are good and Father full of mercy. We beg you and implore the greatness of your mercy. No, Lord, do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one and his hosts. For yours is the kingdom, the power, the strength, the fortitude, and the authority in heaven and on earth, now at all times and forever. Amen. Amen. spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
May the gift of grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be perfected in all of us through his mercy. Forever and ever. Amen. Brothers and sisters, the Church calls us to receive the body of the Son and to drink from his cup in faith in his kingdom. By the grace of the Holy Spirit, we have all approached and participated in the reception of these glorious, holy, life-giving and divine mysteries. Let us all together thank and glorify God who has given them. Praise to him for his indescribable gift. Let us pray. Peace be with us. It is always right, O Lord, it is always right, O Lord, and just at all times and proper at every hour to thank, bless, and glorify the greatness of your name. For it is in your goodness, O Lord, that you have allowed the weak nature of mortals together with the celestial spirits to praise your name and to take part in the words and to raise up to your divinity the chance of praise and glory at all times, O Lord of all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit forever. Amen. Baruch Mark. He who has blessed us with every spiritual grace in heaven through Jesus Christ our Lord, he who has blessed us with every spiritual grace in heaven through Jesus Christ our Lord, has given us his body and blood as a pledge of life that cannot be corrupted. May he bless our assembly. Amen. Protect our community. Amen. And purify our people. Amen. Who have come and have been renewed by the power of the glorious, holy, life giving, and divine mysteries. And by the living sign of the Lord's cross, may you be sealed and preserved from all evil, both hidden and manifest, now at all times and forever. Amen. Thank you. 
مسبوق أموخ بلدي سشمة يا